my extruder is jammed again. I've got to take this thing apart, get the plastic out of it, and get it back to printing. But while I do that, I think maybe now's the time to have a, a serious heart-to-heart -heart discussion about the cold hard facts about 3D printing. Welcome to the workbench. The hype about 3D printing has finally started to die down after years of people just being excited about anything called 3D printing. Which is very good. It's time that we can actually sit down and, and reflect and talk about 3D printing, how it works and what it does and the realities of owning a 3D printing machine. Lots of people have bought 3D printing machines and kind of regretted it, and yet there's still a lot of people who haven't bought a 3D printer who want one. And to kind of help those people get through the uh, hardships and decide whether they actually should have a 3D printer, here's a little dose of reality, some things that you might want to know about owning a 3D printer. Number one, not all 3D printing is the same. I know that there's a lot of things called 3D printing, but in reality, 3D printing uh, covers a lot of things and they're not all the same. They can't all do the same thing. They each have different strengths and weaknesses, things that they can do that others can't do. And the problem is, uh, you see something on Shapeways and you think, man, that looks really cool. And if you try to print it on this 3D printer, it just won't work. Which takes me to my second point, 3D printing can't just print anything. Like I said, there's a lot of different kinds of 3D printers and they can all do really cool things, but they each have their own strengths and their own weaknesses. You have to design for the 3D printer that you're using. One of these FFF 3D printers do fantastic, provided that you've designed for it. So, I'll just get this out of the way right now. 3D printing is, it's work. It's not just a, a push-button, get-toy, uh, magic Christmas machine. It's not like on Star Trek where you talk to it and say, T, Earl Grey, hot, and it appears right there in seconds. No, even at their best, you still have to load the filament, make sure it works, and pry it off the build platform when it's done. It doesn't just spit things out at you. And then even after that, there's cleaning up supports, prepping the print, cleaning it all up. Unless it's been designed to print without supports and you've done a really good job of that, 3D printing is work. The next point is 3D printing is also slow. It's a lot slower than you think it is. Don't expect that you can just hit go on a 3D printer and then get a, a flood of really cool stuff. You're gonna have to uh, gonna have to wait a little while but on the other hand when it's done when it works properly you've got a thing and nobody can take that thing away from you it's not going to dissolve in an hour and you're not going to need to make a new one so there is that All right. the next truth about 3d printing is you know nobody's getting rich 3d printing there are a few outliers people who have kind of bucked the trend but and people who use 3D printing to help them make stuff, yeah, they might be getting rich. But they're not getting rich from 3D printing. They're getting rich from the stuff that they make. And I say getting rich, maybe even just paying the bills is the most you can hope for. You get a 3D printer, you're not automatically going to be rolling in the money. In fact, you're probably going to have to make sure you keep your day job to support this habit that you've got. And, you know, the truth is... 3D printing isn't always the best solution to a problem. A lot of people, when they hear about 3D printing, they start looking at the world around them and they go, man, that could be 3D printed, that could be 3D printed, I could 3D print that. But, you know, sometimes a, a piece of wood and a drill is all you need to, to get the job done. Sometimes the best solution is molding plastic. Sometimes a blob of clay will do the job that you want to do with 3D printing. We all get this 3D printing fever and we say, hey, we should 3D print everything, but designing something, testing it out, printing it out, trying it, iterating the design and putting it out. If you're just trying to like have a decorative display for something, sometimes you can make it a lot easier and a lot faster and sculpy. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, of course I love 3D printing and I'm guilty as much as anybody of probably 3D printing things that didn't need to be 3D printed, but sometimes 3D printing isn't always the answer. And 
you know, 3D printing isn't reliable. Uh, there are certain 3D printers, the more expensive ones that are more reliable, but even those ones, you gotta have a technician come out every once in a while and clean them up and make sure that they're running at their best. It's, it's, it's a machine and it's an industrial machine with a lot of moving parts. You need to have that maintained at best and sometimes fixed. I've had prints that failed one time and then I cleaned them off and just ran them with the exact same file right afterwards and they ran fine. No rhyme or reason for the failure one time and the success the other time. I don't know, maybe a breeze came by and shook it or maybe, maybe just 3D printing's not reliable. And here's another truth that's kind of hard to swallow for people. If you're not ready and willing to edit files, if you're not willing to do some degree of, of designing 3D prints and 3D models, then you probably shouldn't own a 3D printer. If all you think you're going to do is download models online and print them out, if you're not a designer and if you're not willing to edit 3D files, you probably shouldn't be doing 3D printing. Now, I almost feel like you should start designing files before you get a 3D printer just to see if you have a feel for it. Try it out, see if you like editing, so see if you can find a 3D print system that you like and then source those prints to somebody else with a 3D printer and tell if it kind of came out. You might just decide it's just not worth your time. On the other hand, if you are a designer working in anything that you're going to be producing something physical and you don't have a 3D printer, 3D printers have revolutionized design and for the cost and for the speed and ability that they give you to, to create new things and iterate those designs. If you're a designer and you don't have a 3D printer, get a 3D printer. My 3D printer's almost all together. I'm about ready to reload the filament and go, but you know what? I'm gonna leave you with one last cold hard truth about 3D printer ownership. 3D printers are freaking cool! I mean, seriously, look at this thing. I design a file in the computer in virtual space throw it at this thing and it comes out real and I can hold it in my hands. <laughs> Holy smokes, we're living in the future, people. This is amazing. Why wouldn't you want this? Uh, you know, the, and you know, and if I make something that's like super high detail that would take a person like doing it by hand hours to do, and it took me hours to do in the computer to get all those details, and I run one of them off and it turns out great, I run a second one off and it took me no effort to do that. Third, fourth, fifth, a hundred of them. So cool. I understand the hype, man. I get it. I really do. But you might want to think twice before buying a 3D printer. Do you really need one? Maybe, maybe you don't. And that's, that's a hard pill to swallow. 3D printers aren't to the point yet where they're easy enough for people to just push button and go. There are a couple that are fairly easy and I'd like to try them out so that I could recommend them. But even then, I can't recommend that everybody get a 3D printer. Not yet. Now maybe in a couple of years that'll change and maybe while you're watching this video it's even different. So go out there, do your research, do your due diligence. Don't let me tell you not to buy a 3D printer. if maybe it is the right choice. I could be wrong. Don't take my word for it. But I hope that I've given you something to think about. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Whew, that cowlick. That's what I get for recording a video first thing in the morning.